Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here at David Lee Collectors event. Um, this is Cars and Chronos in Walnut. And so he is the owner of this jewelry store, but also he is one of the largest collectors of Ferraris. And he's invited us to this event so we can go talk to supercar owners. We're gonna be asking them questions, getting car tours, and um, I can't wait to show you guys. Come on, let's go check it out. So hey guys, we are here with Sasha and he's from Ferrari of Westlake and he's going to give us a tour on one of his cars. So could you tell me a little bit about this car? Yeah, and I brought something slightly unusual. It's not what most people associate with Ferrari when they see this car, the Lusso. It's actually called the GTC4 Lusso T. Being our rear-wheel driven uh, V8 turbocharged engine. It's a phenomenal car to drive. It's kind of my secret favorite. Um, it's just beautiful to drive. If you want to take a look at it, we can uh, open it up. Ooh! Let's see what's inside. Wow. One of my favorite features on this one is actually the panoramic roof. It's a solid glass panel roof. It's six foot three. This is always a little bit unexpected for most people to see. It. Wow! It's so comfortable when you watch the, the chair's going to stop once there's contact and then it moves forward a little bit. Oh! Leg room. There's plenty of headroom, leg room. This is super awesome. Wow. This is such a beautiful car. Can we turn this thing on? Of course, you bet. Why don't you go in the driver's seat? Oh, me? Sure. Did you put on the brake? Okay. All you need to do is firmly push on the red button. A little bit more. Whoa. Sexy. Oh. such a beautiful car. So tell us some cool things about this car. So it's hard to explain why I love it so much. Maybe it's because of my size and the way it fit in this car. I just feel right at home. It's relaxing, it's comfortable, but at the same time, if you want to have fun, it's super responsive. The transmission is a dream. Um, the engine is responsive. Um, the upshifts, downshifts are just phenomenal. It is such a great car to drive. I really enjoy so what's some cool things about this car that's probably not on your average Toyota? Well, where to start? Where to start? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you can see already the layout of the cockpit. It's very much like our sports cars, this being our grand touring car. Um, everything's on the steering wheel. We have no blinker levers, no uh, stocks behind the steering wheel. Everything's on the wheel. And it's super intuitive once you're in it. See your windshield wiper, for instance, you just a little flick on this button. It's right there, you've got your high beams here on the left, you get blinker buttons on the top, which you know, they extended them over the top so you can actually reach over with your fingertip. It's very intuitive. I like the navigation system. I know. Yeah, it's good to come up. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, I've gotten great responses from our clients on the entertainment system too. As I said, it's intuitive, it's fun. And uh, even the cockpit display, you can see, you pull up the navigation here. You have your phone menu right there and you can control yeah. it with a little wheel behind the steering wheel here. So Sasha, tell me a little bit about the exterior because that's the part everyone sees. Yeah, I mean it's got a very unique profile, uh, it's called the shooting brake design. Some people refer to it as a wagon, which I don't think it is, uh -huh. but uh, I happen to really appreciate the lines. I love the curvy fenders, it's very long front end. The entire engine is based behind the front axle, which gives you really great weight distribution and dynamics. Um, it is a long front end, but still, when you start driving it, it feels like the car shrinking on you. It's very responsive. The also rear axle steering makes the car very nimble, even in the canyons. Um, if you want to walk back, you can kind of get an idea how long this vehicle really is. Okay. And you're pretty much sitting midships here. That's it's most like of the a car big parts. car for it a is. Ferrari. You know, yes, like, okay. you see Ferraris and they're kind of like tiny. And so this is definitely oh, this a good is... car if you're a dad and you need a car seat. Maybe you got a, you know, a furry baby and you want to put the dog in the back? Yeah, that actually works really, really well. We've got the lap system in any of our cars. Even the two seats have uh, child seat hookups in the front. Um, if you're looking at the back, what they changed over, actually if you move the camera slightly to the left, there's the, uh, the gray one, the CFF, the predecessor to the car, right there in the corner. And you see it's got the single tail light design, now we've got the dual tail lights. 
which is actually a design cue that's coming up on the uh, on the next sports car Ferrari, the mid-engine V8, the F8 Tribute. So we see the dual tail lights again. And a little touch that I happen to appreciate too is the Italian flag here on the uh, on the front. Very cute. I do I love that. Well, there's no doubt that it's a beautiful car. I mean, it, it is it is a really well-made car. And so, if my viewers have any questions, is it oh, okay yeah. if they contact you? Absolutely. And it doesn't even have to be sales-related. Anything you need to know about Ferrari, give us a call. Ferrari Westlake, we're always available. Um, we're open six days a week, uh, close on Sundays, but we have our cars and coffee in Westlake. Maybe you want to join us next time. Oh, it's called yes, I would love Grand to. Turismo. Okay. And uh, David Lee is gracious enough to host us here at his event. And he's our client and we're very proud of having him and supporting him in any way we can. Oh, that's so sweet. So guys, I'm going to have all Sasha's information in the description box down below. If you have more questions about this car or any other Ferrari, he said to go ahead, call, email him. And is there anything else? No, I'm just having a great time. Oh, thank you so much, thank Sasha. You. That was such thank a you. great tour. Thanks, nice. guys. So now we're here with Jeff Myers, and he has one of the most beautiful cars on this lot. So what kind of car is this? It's a 1970 Lamborghini Miura. And so they said this is one of the most beautiful cars in the world? It's, it's always a... Uh, um, spoken of as being one of the most beautiful cars ever designed. And you can see why, right? Yeah, it is really beautiful. Well, could you tell us a little bit about the car? Uh, it was basically the car that put Lamborghini on the map. They'd only okay. been in business a couple years. And a few other people that worked for them decided that they wanted to build an ultimate car. And they had actually done it to try to go racing, but Lamborghini never wanted to be involved in racing. So they ended up building it as a street car. And before the car was even, they showed it first just a bare chassis, no body on it. So yeah. nobody even knew what it was going to look like, the beautiful body. And they had so many orders for the car at that point that they decided, decided to build it. And then when they put the body on, people just went out of their mind. So this was like the ultimate car in, when it was introduced in 1966. It was rock stars, people in the movie industry. I mean, you had to be somebody It was $20,000 new back in 66. $20,000? Like, I wear handbags that are $13,000. Well, look at you. <laughs> That's incredible. And so what does a car like this cost today because of all the appreciation, obviously? Um, on a high end? A uh, couple million dollars. Couple, no way. Absolutely. This, this car is a couple million this dollars? Is, there, it's featured in a, a video called Two and a Half Million Dollar Lamborghini Barn Farm. <laughs> so if you look that up, two and a half million dollars. What in the world? Do you actually like drive it around during the day? Oh yeah, yeah? I take it to the store, grocery shopping. You can see how big the trunk is. <laughs> okay, I don't yeah. know. If you own a car that's a few million dollars, it's hard for me to believe that you do the grocery shopping. Are you well, that low-key? No, no, I, yeah, I'm there. absolutely. Wow. I mean, this is a low-key car, isn't it? <laughs> you cannot hide in this. Anytime I take it out, I'll see pictures, like if you just yeah. do a hashtag, I'm like, damn, they found me. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's take a look at the car. Well, what do you want to look at? I don't know what's the best. Ooh, that's so nice. Well, I'm going to show you something. Okay. Okay, Lamborghini's emblem has a bull on it. So, you know, Ferrari is a prancing horse. Yes. Lamborghini is the bull. Check this out. Now stand right in front of it. So that when you look at it from the front, those are the bull's horns. Oh! Get it? Oh my god, that's so, that, so cute. And you saw your pretty eyelashes there, right? <laughs> so me and the car both have eyelashes. Yours are nice. <laughs> wow. And then I'll show you how it opens up because okay. where's the engine? Not the front? Not the front. See? <laughs> She knows her real estate, but she doesn't know that. So, so I'm gonna find the engine where. Yeah, see, if you take the headrest out, oh my there's God. the engine right there. Wow. Pretty crazy. It's 
So believe it or not, this car has 18,000 miles and it's never been restored. This is the original paint, the original upholstery. Absolutely. See, even your shop. 18,000 miles? 18,000 miles. I bought it from a 95 year old guy. Oh. He was in his 60s when he bought it new as a retirement gift for himself. So he was the only owner. And that's why it was so well cared for. Oh my God. It has 12 cylinders sitting that way. Usually you have the engine sitting this way. Uh -huh. So that's why the car was so unbelievable when it was built, was that at that time most cars were, especially like Ferraris and that, they were 12 cylinders in the front. Lamborghini did something entirely different and, and did mid-engine right behind the driver and the that's a 12-cylinder engine stuffed in this little tiny car. So this was like, when it was new, um, it would do 170 miles an hour. This was the, the fastest car on the road. This is the book I put together, and when I first heard about the car, yep. I heard about it through a relative that said something about this old guy that had an orange Lamborghini. I just wanted you to see this because I told you he bought it as yeah. a time. So this is Earl and his brother uh -huh. when he bought the car. Uh -huh. Imagine that, you know, that old guy driving there. I'm going to be like that someday. Uh -huh. You know, I'm going to come to this thing and I'm going to be this old guy and people are going to go, that's his car? Gee! Well, it's a beautiful car, yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. beautiful Aventador and he said he'll give us a tour so tell us a little bit about the car uh, it's a v12 um, single clutch uh, roadster two-seater sea grass green color okay um, with custom carbon fiber pieces we've done everything on the outside carbon fiber we added scoops uh, we did a rear end yeah. we're getting ready to do the wheels next um, the whole car inside is going to be carbon fiber. Wow. So if you check out, we've done a contrasting color scheme. So how much does a car like this cost? Um, starting price is around 500000 What? $500,000 on a car? But it depends on where you get it from and deals and what years. And oh. All that. So it's a little different, you know. But brand new, they're five, five seventy-five, dollars somewhere in that. Oh, so Robin, what do you do for work? I own a chemical company. Company. What does that mean? So we make all the detailed chemicals for the cars. Oh. So anything How has to do with cleaning. convenient for you. Yeah, so my car better always be clean. That's for sure. <laughs> so it's pretty clean, guys. All right, so show us a little bit around the car. This is uh, a red red interior with a black uh, stitching. It was a contrast uh, green. So we picked a green color so it's so different than the red, which ties into the calipers because the calipers are red. Oh, okay next stage so we all build cars on stages so the next stage of this car would be a, a full interior package it would be all carbon fiber that's so crazy that you would spend five hundred thousand dollars on a car and then like change everything you know i'm surprised that they don't come already with all the bells I heard, and whistles i heard the speakers are not very good for these cars either yeah we just figured out all you have to do is switch them uh -huh. so we we put uh, new new speakers in and then that fixes the problem okay Who's the one that told you? That's a great. That's somebody, somebody told you the right thing. That's for sure. <laughs> you would think for I a car that. <laughs> yeah, you would think for a car at this price, they would come with a good. Stand. Yeah, I'm like, I want a good navigation. I want a good speaker, but no, it doesn't come with anything. Yeah. Well, also all the carbon fiber pieces. So everything in the front is carbon fiber. They don't. This doesn't come with it. These are all optional. These are all optional pieces. Okay. So, factory from Lamborghini or yeah. okay yeah so when you order the car you so in order. other words this is like a super super cool one guys <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a little special yeah do you want to start the car for us sure all right
car. So do people like stop you on the street to like talk to you about the car and stuff? They take a lot of pictures. Yeah. yeah. And they ask and they, what what kind is it and where'd you get it and stuff like that. Uh, where do you live? Uh, I live in Fullerton. Fullerton. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, in in um, I have a friend that has a Lamborghini Aventador, and like it's funny because people will like tag him on all the on all the Instagrams because um, he has a certain license plate, okay. and so yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> oh. Do you own other supercars or is this? Um, the orange one down there was my other one. Okay. Oh, he has two. So that's an Aventador also? Well, my friend bought that for me, so that's his now. Oh! So this came with a whole carbon fiber package from the engine. Oh, Normally, engine bay is not carbon fiber. It's not? Uh, anything that's carbon fiber is usually an option for these cars. So if you see carbon fiber on any of the cars... So, like, if you one. wanted to do carbon fiber, like, how much is this upgrade? Usually 15 each each piece or each package is a little different, but usually fifteen thousand to fifty thousand. Fifty thousand so, for some carbon fiber, yo. Just the top alone, the carbon fiber, the top is twenty thousand. Oh just my god. Yeah, I think the Matt black uh, wrap was like another twenty thousand. Yeah, this yeah. was originally this was black. This was a matte black. So, but and I don't, you I don't, took it off. Yeah, I don't like matte black. Green. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of matte black. <laughs> That's insane! Oh my god! All right, so Roman, thank you so much for giving a car tour. So we do mansion tours, and now we're doing supercar tours. And so thank you so much, Roman. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, guys. So we are here with Nick, and he has such a beautiful car. I had to stop him and ask him, "What kind of car is this?" Thank you. Nice to meet you. Hey. Hi, so my name's Nick. I have a Lamborghini Huracan Performante. It's a 2019 5.2 liter V10. My business is VF Engineering and what we do is modify them. Oh. So this is a modified Lamborghini and you can see. Wait a minute, how much is this car? In terms of value? Uh, or power? For retail. retail. Oh, the car cost me 321,000. 321 thousand dollars you guys this is crazy <laughs> and then for an extra an extra forty thousand dollars we added 200 horsepower to it. <laughs> just a little drop in the bucket you know 40k all right so tell us like me how fast is this thing are you like beating like what car can you beat well this car has an acceleration of 0 to 60 in 2.2 seconds which is about the same acceleration as a la ferrari which is in the two million dollar price <laughs> you range. You should have seen Jason's face right now. He was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Motor Trend magazine, okay. they test cars and review them. And they tested this car at 2.2 seconds. Okay. So it's up in the territory of all the hyper cars, the big two, three million dollar cars in terms of acceleration. And where are you from? I'm originally from England. Okay. But I've been living in Irvine in California for 20 years. You drive this thing in Irvine? I do. They don't give me a ticket for being loud. <laughs> Um, okay, so what is this? What are we looking at over here? Okay, well, this car comes with this carbon fiber wing. Uh -huh. And a lot of the carbon fiber you see on it is all standard for this model because this is their highest level version of this chassis. And is this, so is this, is this from Lamborghini? Correct, yeah. Okay. So this is the Performante, which is their top of the line version of this car. Okay. So it has all of these accessories. And what I've done is just added a protective film, mm -hmm. which is an opaque, sort of frosted finish. Okay. Otherwise the car is normally in gloss black. Uh-huh. Um, and I've added our supercharger to it, which is the red compressor you see on top of the engine. Okay. That compresses the air. It's a bit like, it, it's it's forcing air. So it's, some people know these devices as like turbos or superchargers, and it adds six PSI of air pressure into the engine and that's how it makes more power. So someone's gonna drop 300K on a car and then they're gonna spend another 40,000 to modify. Yes. Is that smart? <laughs> it's very popular. And you know, in, in our world of luxury items, uh, nothing is impossible, right? Yeah. So if you have a fast car and you wanna make it a little bit quicker because you want a little bit more excitement, uh -huh. this is the kind of thing people do. I love it, yeah. I love it. 
Well, oh my God. I'd love to show you around yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, please, let's go. So this car is derived from Lamborghini race cars and it has what's called their center locking wheels, uh -huh. which is a single locking nut in the middle of the wheel. And it takes actually like a six foot wrench to open, to unlock it. So it's, it's derived from some of their racing car technology. Uh -huh. uh, and it also features uh, paddle shifting. So it's a seven speed transmission. I can show you inside. Yeah, let's go. You can see it's got a lot of carbon fiber, what they call forged carbon fiber interior accessory trims. Uh -huh. uh, it's got the suede finish throughout the car and it's got all the luxuries of a modern day Audi because Audi and Volkswagen own Lamborghini. Oh, that's right. So, the keys look the same. Yes, exactly. The keys, the switches make similar sounds. The actual manufacturing quality is so well done. Uh -huh. It's such a, uh, such a resilient car that, you know, a lot of people are di driving these cars as daily drivers. Yeah, I did drive a Huracan before and it was like, I mean, I'm not a great driver, but it was easy and it was just like gas and go. Yeah, yeah, super comfortable, very simple. super reliable. And you know, if you can depend on a car like this, it's, it's changed the world of supercar ownership uh -huh. because it's no longer one of those cars that needs to go in the shop every six months. Yeah, yeah. It used to be like that like many moons ago. Yes, but... exactly. When I was younger, like in the 80s and 90s, owning a supercar was like, oh, 10,000 for a clutch and this and that. And it was like constant expenses. Yeah. But these cars now are built so well uh, that, you know, you get so much value from them. So, you know, having a couple of cars like this with a nice big house and where, where you're selling your homes is very popular these days. Carbon ceramic brakes also derived from race cars. These are actually uh, extremely effective as brakes and they're made from a carbon ceramic fiber material which gives you extreme heat resilience for a really aggressive driving. And the actual race cars, the Lamborghini race cars, uh, some, some of them have these. These replace the steel brakes, which are traditional brakes. And then the car has a lift, a hydraulic lift to raise it and lower it when you're going oh, over Oh, that's bumps. good. Cause, like when you're going into a driveway, Oh, it's a beautiful car. So how'd you get into this field? I mean... That's a really good question. Uh -huh. When I was, uh, you know, like a lot of kids when I was younger, we dream about exotic cars. Or right, have, right. Have That's every boy's dream. Right. So I had a poster of a Lamborghini on my wall, but I never knew how or if I would ever get one. Or, you know, how does one get there? My parents drove very well. Very... Hello. And my parents drove very modest cars uh -huh. so I didn't have a clear path to uh, how I would get one anyway fast forward when I was about 20 uh -huh. I wanted to get more involved with modifying car, my own car uh -huh. and that led me to the marketplace where people wanted to do the same thing uh -huh. and then I started with Volkswagens and then I started modifying Porsches and BMWs and Audis and then I got to Lamborghinis 20 years later. Oh, wow. So I just focused on what I do, which is modify these cars. And this is a company that you own? Correct. Okay. Yes, it's called VF Engineering. Okay, so if, if one of our viewers wants to modify their car, they can contact your company? Yes, our, okay. our website, if you're okay with that, it's vfe1.com. Okay, awesome. So, you know, if you guys want to drop 300k on a car, then another 40k for modification. He's the man to soup up that car. Well, thank you so much for the tour. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're here with Brian and the boy. The car shrink. The car shrink. Thank you. And the boys on the lot were telling me that I have to show this car because it's one of the very special cars on this lot. So what is this car? Why is it so special? Well, first of all, it's the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. They made them in 2008. They only made 500 worldwide. It's very rare. It was made to relaunch Alfa Romeo in the U.S. <laughs> uh, they only brought 80 of them to the States. Uh, to actually, I think it's 80 to North America. Uh -huh. Most of them are red, so this one's black, so that's really rare. There's maybe five black cars total. Wow. And it's a really neat car, and it also was on a TV show called Top Gear, which is a very famous car show. Yes. And Jeremy Clarkson said that this car is considered art because wow. the car's lines are so pretty. He made fun of the way it drove because they're crazy and they like that fun. They don't drive that bad. They drive really well, actually. And they said to make sure that you turn the car on for us? Yes. What does that mean? Because the sound of this car, and that's what they talked about in Top Gear, the sound is probably one of the best sounding cars ever made. 
And also, when you do look at this car, the reason why they call it art is there's not one bad line on the car. Every oh, there's a lot of curves. Every angle. And it, there's a lot of curves. Most modern cars now are very cut and angular. Mm -hmm. Well, this car is lots of flowing, swooping lines. Some people say like the female human form. So that's why people like it. And also rarity, obviously, as you know, there's value to rarity. Scarcity is value. Right. There you go. So how much does a car like this retail for? Brand spanking Oh, well, new. they don't make them. So they, haven't made, they haven't made them one oh. year. So in 2000, I think off the top of my head, I don't remember what they were new. I think they were about 200,000 new, okay. give or take 250. They're worth Anywhere between 250 and 350. Oh, so, so it went up. up. Exactly. Okay, so for all those people that say, ah, oh, car devalue, well, not this one, guys. This is a very <laughs> special car. So show us around. So, bottom line, I mean, just all you have to really do is look at this car from the front and just see it's one big swoopy curve. And the sound it has basically essentially a Ferrari V8 in it. It shares a lot of the running gear with the Maserati at the time and Ferrari running gear. And uh, I mean, that's the story on it. <laughs> that's that's what you got. Do you want to show us the trunk? Sure. The, oh, the trunk is. You'll enjoy this trunk. Okay. Get ready for this trunk. First things first. I gotta get the key. So, oh, look at the key. Oh. So. And you're gonna enjoy this. And oh my god. The trunk is that. <gasps> <laughs> Room for your credit card. <laughs> oh my god, so no luggage in this car. No luggage. This is the back shelf, but there's no real trunk to speak of. Wow, wow. And let's see the interior of the sure. car. Come around. I guess it's done. And it has a Ferrari, as they say, paddle style flappy gearbox, uh -huh. which is all right, <laughs> but that's the way they came. And uh, I'll start it for you guys if you want. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Go, go to the back. I'm not going to be revving it like all these uh, guys. I'm, I'll give it a little rev, not a crazy distributor. Well, the car's not warm. So we'll, give it, give you a, we'll give you a nice one. So, so it has a little start that's button here. One. Start button there. Car, no. you know, it really isn't. So it's not really about. It's more about style than about absolute speed. power speed. Okay. It's more of a grand touring car, so it's not necessarily a full race car. It's more of a grand touring. Car. It's more a comfortable car, pretty car, obviously. So oh, yeah. It is not everything is made for. Some things are built for comfort, not for speed. So what is what is LA, uh, the car shrink? The car shrink. Well, I buy and sell collectible cars. Okay. I manage. I manage uh, collections for people. Okay. I also set up uh, car tours for people. I'm also uh, work. I'm the special projects manager for Ferrari Beverly Hills and Mattioli Auto Group. Okay. So I'm a jack of all trades. Everything with collectible cars. Wow. So if someone wanted to contact you to get in touch with you, um, how could they do that? Thecarshrink.com. All right. Easy, or at the car shrink on uh, Instagram. Oh, thank you so much, Pleasure. Brian, for nice such a great you. car tour. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us today on our channel. We got to see some really amazing cars. I mean, I can't believe people are spending $300,000, $400,000, $500,000 on a car. They were so beautiful. I would love to um, thank King Wa Lee Jewelers, and this is in Walnut. Thank you, David Lee. Thank you, Matthew Essex, for letting us film today. And Jason, of course, you're doing an amazing job as a videographer. 